morning, everyone. I am in a good mood, got my day off to an early start, and here comes Bella. <laughs> Why, hello, did you hear me vlogging and decide to come join? You wanna go outside again, don't you? Come on, let's go. You too. So I'm still in the midst of filming that main channel video where I'm waking up at 6 a.m. to work out every day for a week. And I don't wanna spoil the video because I want you guys to watch that too when it comes out. But I am feeling great. I feel so good. I feel energized, ready to go. I did a fitness martial dance workout this morning. And first of all, I'm a horrible dancer. I felt so awkward at first. And then once I really got into it, I just, I had so much fun and I was so sweaty. Went upstairs, did a little bit of computer work, organized some footage, and now I'm ready to shower and actually really get the day started. So I'm showered, my hair is plopped. I'm gonna do some skincare and put on some eyebrow gel. Today's gonna be a fun day. I have some work stuff to do. I have some house stuff I wanna do. I wanna go grocery shopping. I wanna finally, finally, finally get a little acrylic makeup organizer for this vanity area. During Vlogmas, I like reorganized it and decluttered it. And I wanted to just get a little tabletop organizer, but I couldn't really decide on one online. And I saw in the comments of that vlog, a bunch of you guys recommended going to TJ Maxx because they have a lot of that kind of stuff there and then I can see it in person and find like the best size for me. So I think while I'm out grocery shopping, did I mention that I want to go grocery shopping already? <laughs> while I'm out grocery shopping, I want to try and make a quick stop into TJ Maxx to get something for that. I have quite a bit of computer work I want to do, finish editing a vlog, some video planning, also an outline for a video that I'm going to start filming tomorrow. I ordered the first five ads that I saw on TikTok. <laughs> and so I need to go back through the screen recordings I took when I was ordering for that video and jot down any notes or things that I want to talk about during that. And what else is on the schedule? I feel like there was one more thing. Oh, I am filming a clip for the like pregnancy progression video. That won't be up until June because I'm gonna show like monthly clips of my pregnancy from the full nine months of the pregnancy. But I need to film my 20 week clip for that today. So Steven's gonna help me out with that. We'll take some bump pictures. Oh, also speaking of pregnancy, I now have the results back from my anatomy scan. So you know what? Let me do my eye cream first and then we'll talk about it because I don't really wanna talk about it while I'm doing my eye cream. That's a little weird. <laughs> Okay, so good news about the anatomy scan. Baby's anatomy is developing normally. When they were going through the results with me, they literally went through like 30 things. It was like left foot, right foot, brain, four chambers of the heart, all of these different things that they can see in the anatomy scan. And everything from that is great. It's perfect, <laughs> which is so wonderful. I'm so, so happy to hear that, but there was one hiccup, I guess. So there is a loop in the umbilical cord and the loop itself isn't necessarily an issue. They were able to see on the anatomy scan that the blood flow in the umbilical cord is normal. And the issue would be if that loop turned into what they call a true knot and restricted blood flow and could potentially restrict baby's growth. So right now that's not an issue. It's just a loop. They said it's a variation of normal. It's not causing her any problems, but they said the potential problem that we have to monitor for is if that loop were to turn into a knot and start restricting blood flow and growth. So at first when I heard that, I, I was really scared and worried, but the more I talked to my OB about it the, and the more I understood about what it was, the less scary it seemed. My OB said that they would be concerned if baby was in like the 10th percentile or less for growth. And she's not, she's actually measuring ahead for her due date. And they were able to see normal blood flow, which is also a really good sign. So basically they just, want to continue monitoring it, make sure that her growth continues normally and that the blood flow isn't restricted and that the loop doesn't become a knot. So they made me an appointment for a 26 week parentology scan. So everything's okay. Good news from the anatomy scan is that her anatomy is right where it should be. Bad news, or I'm not even going to say bad news, lukewarm news. <laughs> There's just that loop in the umbilical cord that we need to monitor. So that's where we're at. That is the anatomy scan update. And I've just got to trust that it is out of my hands and she's gonna be okay and my little girl is doing just fine <laughs> all right so i'm gonna get dressed i'm gonna go up to my office and try to crank out i was gonna say all of my computer work for the day i've got probably five ish hours of stuff to do so maybe not all of it but we'll do a good chunk before we move on to the errands and other stuff but 
before we get into the rest of my day, I want to give a big thank you to this video sponsor, which is Skillshare. If you haven't heard about Skillshare, they are an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, develop any of your existing interests, and just get lost in creativity. I think I mentioned this in a vlog a few weeks back, but I had been going through this amazing class by Christopher Griffin, aka Plant Queen. It's called Plant at Home, Uplift your spirit and your space. I actually finished the class last week and it was just fantastic. Highly recommend for any of you plant lovers. And now it is time for me to start another class. So if you have any favorite Skillshare classes that you've taken, let me know down in the comments. And Skillshare has a special offer for actually the first a thousand of you to click the link in my description. You will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. And then after the trial, it's only around $10 a month. So thank you Skillshare. I am going to head over to my desk, get some editing done. Productivity time, let's do it. <laughs> All right, I'm just finishing up my work for the day at my desk. It's actually almost three o'clock. I got all the computer tasks on my to-do list done, everything. I wanna go downstairs and kind of like take stock of what grocery items we still have, what we need, make a little bit of a meal plan for a week. I like to do that before I go grocery shopping. I feel like I'm less wasteful when I do it like that because I'm only buying the things that I know I need and I'm gonna use. And then I also have my Daily Harvest box that I think just got delivered like 10 minutes ago. So I'll put that away, plug those things into my meal plan, and we'll go grocery shopping. First, let me show you my outfit for today. So I'm just wearing this maternity dress from ASOS, and then I added a pink belt at the waist. And I also have a denim jacket. I love adding denim jackets over really anything and everything. <laughs> I hadn't worn this yet today since I was just working at my desk, but now that I'm heading out for my errands. I think we're gonna go with the denim jacket. Bella, what do you think? <laughs> Before I head downstairs, Steven <laughs> wanted to give you guys a little update on the task organization stuff. Yes, so I, I set up the four squares. I actually had a perfect wall right behind my monitors. I just forgot about it because there was actually a TV like arm there before. And I just kind of left it and I like pretended that space didn't exist. But I took it off and it's tons of space, so. And it was just a TV mount that the previous owners had left? Like you weren't even using it? No, I, I so. literally, I like hung my like, what do you call it, a stash? No, not stash. <laughs> Anyways, it was my like, it was my school, like my graduation thing. Um, What's the name? I. Pretty sure it's a stash. It's not stash. <laughs> I mean, I, I will Google it. Google it. It's not stash. You don't think so? I think it's a stash, like graduation stash. Sash. Oh, stoles. Stoles. That's what it was. You were mixing stoles with <laughs> sash. Yeah. Yep, yeah. For sure. It's a stole. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. So here are the four squares. So I haven't put my work stuff up. This one was going to be like my personal one. Personal wise, I have to paint things. I have to do the doorbell transformer. We have to upgrade it. I have to do my Tantive 4 lo uh, Lego. And I have to do my At At Lego. <laughs> And then uh, these will be for work of some sort of, you know, prioritization or process, you know, track how things are going. I think it's going to work. Yay, good job. So next I have a pile of sticky notes. So this was my pile of sticky notes. It's literally a pile. <laughs> So when I was going into Christmas break, I was like, this is trash and I need to find a better way of doing it. And then of course I spilled coffee on all of them. So <laughs> so these are your coffee spilled post-its that you're now going to add onto the board. I'm going to redo them. Oh, you're going to redo I'm them. I'm going to go through them and, you know, kind of just review what I had going into the year and then I'll put them up. Cool. And hopefully I can kind of come up with some sort of system. Good job. This is the stole, <laughs> AKA stash, AKA the stole. <laughs> <laughs> so next up in this room, how do I fit more Lego? Cause I'm, for my intense purposes, I maxed out on Lego space. Which, if you guys want to see Steven's office tour, we did it in a previous vlog, so I will put a card to that up there, or there, I can never remember <laughs> where it is. <laughs> All right, the denim jacket was a cute idea, but I started getting really hot and like claustrophobic. I don't know, maybe it's pregnancy, maybe I just haven't worn a jean jacket in a little while, but we are going without. Anyways, here is my Daily Harvest box. So I tried this for a video a couple months ago where I tried products that like influencers swear by. And since trying Daily Harvest for that video, I became a big fan. <laughs> They're supposed to be weekly boxes, but I, I don't eat enough of these in a week for it to be weekly for me. So I just go on the app and I skip usually two deliveries and then I'll have one. So I get one like every three weeks or so. And then sometimes I'll up that or down that just depending on how much Daily Harvest I'm eating at that time. <sighs> 
in this box, I got four smoothies, two of the mango and greens and two of the strawberry peach. One of these sweet potato harvest bowls. I actually have another one of these in the freezer still from my last box. So usually I'll get like two or three, but I only got one this time. And I wanted to try something new. They have these broccoli flatbreads and the tomato and basil one was rated really high. So I thought this would be a fun new thing to try. And that is it. That is my box. So I have that. And then I also placed an order with Thrive Market of more like snacky stuff. So I got some of these bean chips that I really like, some bean chip pop. And oh, I kind of want to do like a taste test in probably the next vlog because I think this box is getting delivered tomorrow. But I got vegan beef jerky. <laughs> Steven and I saw it on Shark Tank. It's like, it's a mushroom jerky. And we saw that you could order it on Thrive Market and we use Thrive Market anyways. So I added that mushroom jerky to our order and then we were talking to Skylar and Kyle about it. And they were saying that they have a different favorite brand of vegan beef jerky that's I think tofu based or soy based. And so we ordered that one as well. So I think it'll be fun to do like a vegan beef jerky taste test. Before I went vegetarian, I loved beef jerky. That was like my go-to running late to class snack or like gas station road trip snack. And I've never tried any like vegetarian or vegan replacements for beef jerky. I just haven't had it in like five years. So I think that'll be fun to try. And then I have like three or four meals and some snack stuff that I wanna get at the grocery store. Steven and I also use like meal kit boxes every week. Right now we're using Blue Apron and we're really, really liking it. So that covers two of our dinners each week. And then I also have the Daily Harvest. So really like the grocery store stuff is just supplementing that. We did a big grocery haul on like December 13th or 14th. There's a vlog of it where we went to Costco and everything. And that was the last time I've been to the grocery store. So it's been like three and a half, three weeks. So I just kind of want to replenish, get myself set for the next week. And also hit up TJ Maxx, like I said. So let's go. So I popped in at Target real quick just because I needed to get a refill of my facial cleanser. And I thought, you know, let me pop over to the bathroom organization area, see if they have any little trays and things I would like. And oh my gosh, these are so cute. They have a whole bunch of options. They have wood, they have white, they have the acrylic ones. But what I'm actually really interested in is these gold and glass ones. They have bigger ones like this one here, but I think the one I'm really interested in is just this simple like three pocket one are those pockets <laughs> I like the gold detailing and it's pretty like free form like I can organize this however I want so I think I'm gonna get it and that also saves me a trip to TJ Maxx so now all I have to do is go to the grocery store which is like right down the street from here versus TJ Maxx was a bit of a trek <laughs> All right, Sprouts, here we go. I've got my shopping list here. Let's crank this out. So I'm gonna start with some mangoes. I'm gonna make a set of mango spring rolls this week. And then two avocados. These are also for the mango spring rolls. And then lemons. I'm making like a broccoli side dish to go with one of our dinners this week. And I use some lemon juice on that. I need two red onions, one and a half for the quinoa sweet potato dish that I like to make, and then half for the mango spring rolls. Bag of baby carrots. I love just doing carrots and hummus. And then like I said, I'm doing that quinoa sweet potato meal prep bowl sometime this week. I'm thinking I'll probably make that like day after tomorrow and then I'll have that for like the next four lunches. So I need two large sweet potatoes. Bag of broccoli florets for that broccoli lemon side dish. Some pre-shredded lettuce to save me some time on those spring rolls. And then last thing for vegetables, some bell peppers. I ran out of the reusable bags that I brought for my produce, but two for my quinoa bowl and two just to snack on. And then these rice paper wraps for the spring rolls. Steven wanted to do a taco night this week, so I need to get tortillas, Beyond Beef, and taco seasoning. We already have a lot of the fixings, like sour cream and salsa and cheddar cheese. Also, I already got lettuce, since that is also gonna be used for the spring rolls. I think all I need is the tortillas, the Beyond Beef, and is there one more thing? Taco seasoning, that's right. So we got this, we got this, and 
then finally, tortillas. You know what? I just realized I definitely did not put beans on the list, but I definitely want beans with the tacos. So I'm gonna go grab some of those. <laughs> also, I'm thinking I should get an extra onion and extra bell pepper, maybe two bell peppers, and also do some fajitas with the taco night. Hummus for my carrots and hummus. I wanna get some strawberry popsicles and I see them, yay! hidden back there. All right, last things on the list are Greek yogurt, goat cheese, and cream cheese. You know what, just kidding. One more thing that was not on the list. These peanut butter perfect bars are my favorite for like breakfast or to go with some carrots and hummus for a quick lunch. And they're high protein, which I'm always looking for ways to get more protein since I am vegetarian. <sighs> All right, I am home. Stephen is cooking dinner. That's yes. that's a nice surprise. I'm have Russell sprout risotto. Ooh, it's one of the blue aprons for this week. My goodness, did you miss me? And they did you miss me? I literally already been fed. I literally just walked in the door. Hi, hi. I know. I know you look cold. So I'm back. Bit later than planned. It's six o'clock right now. We were supposed to film the uh, like pregnancy progression clip at five, and I feel like just because I, I worked a little bit longer in the early afternoon, it just pushed everything back. I am so sleepy. I I'm kind of thinking we don't film tonight. What do you think? Whatever you need. Okay. <laughs> I'm going behind the camera, so I don't do much. So it's you has to be on. Well, we're filming that other main channel video, the TikTok video tomorrow. Yeah, so we could just, tomorrow. yeah, do it tomorrow with that. And then we could have a chill evening. I want to like kind of reorganize my vanity because I got a little organizer at Target. I saw that. I was like, what is this random thing on the counter? <laughs> I need to put the groceries away. I have a little bit of like emailing to do. All my timers about to go off. All right, you way. go cook. So it's about to be pandemonium in here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad we're not gonna film tonight because I feel like I just would not have my normal pep. <laughs> I'm very sleepy. Look at you go, babe. This looks delicious. Some of these are a little burnt, but that's what <laughs> you're supposed to do because it gets that nice crispy texture. <laughs> All right, so I just got out of the bath and I set up my little tray here. So I've got some of like my makeup products and stuff that I use daily to like weekly. And then still over here, I have a couple of the bigger things just sitting on the counter. I did my skincare and everything. I have two more of those zit patches on. I saw in the comments of a couple vlogs ago when I was talking about these, some of you guys recommending only using these on zits that have like a white head already that are like emerging because when it's a deeper zit, this doesn't really do as much, but with a zit like that, it can like pull out the yucky stuff. Like it's kind of like a better alternative to popping a zit. It'll help like extract it and heal it. So I'm using it on two that are kind of in that stage right now. This one's a little bit more like approaching that stage, but this one definitely ready for it. And it's 8.04 PM right now and I'm gonna crawl into bed. I'm getting up again at 6 AM tomorrow for that main channel video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and we will see See you in the next one. Bye!